Democratic Senate candidate in North Carolina confirms romantic text with woman who isn't his wife. Democratic candidate Cal Cunningham apologized Friday for sending romantic text messages to a woman who is not his wife, a disclosure that could shake up the hotly contested North Carolina Senate race in its final weeks. Cunningham is challenging Republican Senator Tom Tillis, with recent public polls suggesting a competitive race. On Thursday, however, as the candidates were set to meet for their final debate, a report surfaced on NationalFile.com suggesting Cunningham has sought a relationship outside of his marriage. In a series of text messages captured in screenshots on the site, Cunningham praised the woman as historically sexy and suggested he wanted to secretly meet with her. Would make my day to roll over and kiss you about now, he wrote in another text. In a statement provided to CNN, Cunningham confirmed that he had breached his family's trust and apologized for his behavior, while suggesting he would move forward with his campaign. I've hurt my family, disappointed my friends, and am deeply sorry, Cunningham said. The first step in repairing those relationships is taking complete responsibility, which I do. I ask that my family's privacy be respected in this personal matter. I remain grateful and humbled by the ongoing support that North Carolinians have extended in this campaign, he added. And in the remaining weeks before this election I will continue to work to earn the opportunity to fight for the people of our state. No thanks Cunningham's statement was first reported by the news. An observer. The Cunningham campaign did not dispute or otherwise comment on the authenticity of the texts as reported by National File. The revelations about Cunningham's personal life come as some North Carolina voters are already casting their ballots by mail. In-person early voting in the state begins October 15. An Army reservist and father of two, Cunningham has worked to craft a positive, uncontroversial image for himself as a candidate, just this week. Spectrum News aired a joint interview with Cunningham and his wife of 20 years Elizabeth, in which she praised her husband as authentic. He's very authentic, Elizabeth Cunningham said in the interview, seated beside her husband at their home. And I think that's one of the things that people like about him when they meet him. The North Carolina Senate race is now being jumbled in multiple ways, however, making it difficult to predict how the race could continue to evolve in the coming weeks. Also on Friday, Tillis confirmed that he had tested positive for COVID-19, putting a temporary halt to the Republicans' in-person campaign events. Tillis had attended a White House event marking Judge Amy Coney Barrett's nomination to the Supreme Court. Cunningham said Friday that he would be tested as well after sharing the debate stage with Tillis the night before. Raleigh, North Carolina The Democratic challenger in North Carolina's closely contested U.S. Senate contest has admitted to exchanging sexually suggestive text messages with a woman who's not his wife but he said he will not to drop out of the race. Cal Cunningham apologized late Friday for the text message exchanges in which he tells the woman he wants to kiss her and she says she wants to spend the night with him. The messages were first reported by the website nationalfile.com I have hurt my family, disappointed my friends, and am deeply sorry. The first step in repairing those relationships is taking complete responsibility, which I do, Cunningham said in a statement. Cunningham's admission regarding the text messages, along with his opponent U.S. Senate Tom Tillis testing positive for COVID-19, could reshape a closely contested campaign that's considered key to determining the power balance in the Senate. But Cunningham, who is married with two children, added that he's not dropping out of the Senate race. I will continue to work to earn the opportunity to fight for the people of our state. Screen grabs of the messages show Cunningham told public relations strategist Arlene Guzman Todd, would make my day to roll over and kiss you about now, to which she replies, you're so sweet, I would enjoy that. Another shows Guzman Todd tell Cunningham, the only thing I want on my to-do list is you, to which Cunningham replies, sounds so hot and so fun. A spokeswoman for Cunningham's campaign, Rachel Petrie, confirmed the authenticity of the text messages. It's unclear when the messages were sent, but at one point Cunningham says he's nervous about the next 100 days, which could be a reference to the Senate election. 100 days before the election would be July 26th.
An email trying to reach Guzman Todd at the communications firm that lists her as an employee wasn't immediately returned Saturday morning. Earlier Friday, Cunningham's opponent, Republican Sen. Tom Tillis, announced that he T.E.S. Ted positive for COVID-19 but said he has no symptoms. Cunningham tweeted that he wished Tillis a quick recovery and said he would get tested himself after the two men shared a debate stage Thursday night. North Carolina U.S. Senate candidate Cal Cunningham admitted to sending sexual text messages to a woman who is not his wife but said he will not drop out of the race against incumbent GOP Sen. Tom Tillis. Screenshots of the intimate messages between Cunningham and Arlene Guzman Todd, a California public relations strategist, were first revealed by NationalFile.com. In these messages, Guzman Todd tells the Democratic candidate to get away for a night soon. The longer we wait, the crazier fall schedules will get. Cunningham responds, Sounds wonderful. I want that too. Very badly. Cunningham also texted Guzman Todd that it would make my day to roll over and kiss you about now. Another text shows Guzman Todd tell Cunningham, The only thing I want on my to-do list is you, to which Cunningham replies, Sounds so hot and so fun. Cunningham apologized Friday in a statement, saying, I have hurt my family, disappointed my friends and am deeply sorry. The first step in repairing those relationships is taking complete responsibility, which I do. It's unclear when the messages were sent, however. In one of the screenshots Cunningham says that he's nervous about the next 100 days, potentially referring to the Senate election on November 3rd, which would mean that message was likely sent sometime in late July. The Senate candidate is married and a father of two, as is Guzman Todd, according to National File. Despite the release of those messages Cunningham has said he will remain in the race. I remain grateful and humbled by this ongoing support that North Carolinians have extended in this campaign. And in the remaining weeks before this election I will continue to work to earn the opportunity to fight for the people of outstate Cunningham said in a statement. Cunningham's apology comes hours after his opponent Republican Senator Tom Tillis confirmed he tested positive for COVID-19. Most polls show Cunningham leading Tillis including a CBS News YouGov poll from September 22-25 that showed 48% of likely voters said they plan to cast their ballots for Cunningham, while 38% support Tillis. Raleigh, North Carolina, WRAL, North Carolina Democratic U.S. Senate candidate Cal Cunningham issued a statement Friday night apologizing for sexually suggestive text messages he sent to a woman in California. A story published by the website NationalLife.com indicates Cunningham, who is running against Republican Sen. Tom Tillis, engaged in the extramarital activity with the wife of a fellow veteran. The website identified the woman as Arlene Guzman Todd. Her husband is Jeremy Todd who served 15 years in the Army, the website said. He said on Friday night he will not drop out of the U.S. Senate race. Spected in this personal matter, I remain grateful and humbled by the ongoing support that North Carolinians have extended in this campaign. And in the remaining weeks before this election I will continue to work to earn the opportunity to fight for the people of our state. Cunningham's statement came hours after Tillis posted on Twitter that he has the coronavirus. Tillis said he will be self-isolating at home for 10 days. Tillis' campaign responded to the public apology made by Cunningham. Our campaign is focused on the health of Senator Tillis and our staff, a spokesperson for Tillis said. Cunningham said Guzman Todd was historically sexy and was dreaming of our time together. Guzman Todd said in one text to Cunningham she wants a night with you, and Cunningham agreed. National File reported, The only thing I want on my to-do list is you, Guzman Todd also wrote. According to National File, Cunningham replied, Sounds so hot and so fun. National File said Guzman Todd has been listed as a media director of a marijuana public relations company and, in the past, has been a lecturer at California State University. Wayne Goodwin, chairman of the North Carolina Democratic Party, said that the race is about which candidate will stand up for North Carolina and protect our health care. 
Raleigh, WTVD, North Carolina Democratic U.S. Senate candidate Cal Cunningham has apologized after it was revealed he sent sexual text messages to a woman who is not his wife. The text messages were between Cunningham and California strategist Arlene Guzman Todd, according to our news gathering partners The News and Observer. The Cunningham campaign confirmed to the NNO the authenticity of the messages which do not contain dates. The messages were first reported by NationalFile.com. The NNO reported that in one of the texts Cunningham indicated he was nervous about the next 100 days, with Election Day being November 3rd. 100 days would have been around late July. Friday night Cunningham apologized in a statement acquired by ABC News. I've hurt my family, disappointed my friends, and am deeply sorry. The first step in repairing those relationships is taking complete responsibility, which I do. I ask that my family's privacy be respected in this personal matter, said Cunningham. I remain grateful and humbled by the ongoing support that North Carolinians have extended in this campaign, and in the remaining weeks before this election I will continue to work to earn the opportunity to fight for the people of our state.